Samsung asked students all around the country to solve big issues in their communities using science and technology. Well, thousands turned out, like the kids at Frankie Woods McCullough Academy in Gary, Indiana. Their idea? Bring fresh fruits and veggies to their neighborhood where it's not readily available. Here is their story. When I look around my neighborhood, I see abandoned houses, abandoned buildings, and no availability of fresh foods. Gary, Indiana used to be one of the most exciting cities to live in, but over the years, the population and businesses are in decline. Gary is what's known as a food desert. A food desert is a neighborhood that has very little or no access to fresh foods. The grocery stores that are present usually are stocked with processed foods which do not promote a healthy lifestyle. Sometimes entire neighborhoods do not have a grocery store with fresh vegetables. Oftentimes, students eat the healthiest at school where the menu is planned. Some families in our community do not own transportation, making it even more difficult to get to a grocery store. It's time to make a difference. It's time to educate ourselves, our community, and help change the world. Time to get involved and help our community get fresh veggies. We want to help our community by establishing a community garden on our school property. But we need to learn about growing fruits and vegetables first by creating our own mini greenhouses. We build mini greenhouses so we can practice growing our own fresh vegetable crops. We will begin growing tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, and peppers as a test before we begin our community garden this spring. We met with Phil Graham from the Portage Community Garden in Portage, Indiana to learn how other local community gardens operate. He gave us advice on what kind of vegetables to grow, what kind of soil to have on our lot, and how to maintain our garden. After our fresh vegetables are grown, we will package them in bags and give them to families in need in the community. So that is their idea. It's one of 15 being considered for the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow contest. And they are a remarkable group of young people doing incredible things. They will join us coming up. We have an incredible surprise for them. They have no idea what's in store. So before the break, we told you about an Indiana high school that is one of 15 schools that are finalists in a contest sponsored by Samsung. The challenge is to develop innovative ideas to advance their struggling communities. And we're joined now by 13-year-old Angel Wells and her teacher, Kimberly Stivers, who've been spearheading this. They join us now. Thanks so much for being with us, you both. Mrs. Stivers, I'll start with you. This idea being that in Gary, Indiana, there's sort of food deserts. There's no access to fresh fruits and vegetables. So why not create it yourself? You have started these community gardens there on the property. Take me through how this actually works. Okay, well, yeah, we, we are a food desert, so there is limited access to fresh fruits and vegetables. So what we decided to do was, you know, in order to address the problem was to give back. So because of Indiana weather, we were building, we built many greenhouses in our mm. school and started growing some of the plants. So when the weather lets up in a couple of months, or probably about another month, we're going to build a large scale greenhouse on our property and transfer the plants that we've grown and grow more plants over the summer. So by the fall, we'll definitely be ready to start distributing them to our community. You know, people take for granted their farmers markets and their neighborhoods, and you've basically created that. Angel, you and your classmates, what have you been doing to keep this garden going? Well, our classmates, every second weekend of the day, our classmates go to the science lab and put water in the plants, check on the plants, mm -hmm. put them in the sunlight, we take care of them, or we grow some more cucumbers and carrots. We do, a, we do a lot of things with our plants. So you're not only giving back to your community, you must be learning a lot as well, Angel. What has that experience been like for you? That was a great experience, and also STEM. It increased my classes in science and mathematics, because mm -hmm. I'm good in science, I love science. I want to go to college to be a science elementary teacher. So it's really increasing my interest in science. We are a STEM academy, girls academy. We're all girls school and we are STEM. So we really want to dabble in so many more projects. So uh, well, it'd be nice to have a p partnership with Samsung. Well, you know, it's interesting. I, I have to say it's a pretty convincing argument and you guys are doing pretty amazing things. I'm pretty sold. And I have to tell you, uh, so is Samsung. I have a bit of a surprise for you guys. I don't know if you can see this, but right here we have a $25,000 check made out to Frankie Woods 
McCullough School. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. A technology grant. Uh, it's the Civic Engagement Prize. I just, I have to get your first awesome. reaction. <laughs> thank awesome. you. That, thank you. Yeah. Angel, what do you think? What will you do with that? Well, we can use a lot of that, get some technology for our school. We can use it for more STEM projects. And our school, we want to make a solar skateboard. So that would be great. This We're check is so here thankful. in Atlanta now, and Samsung's going to be sending you the real <laughs> one coming up. But we just want to uh, thank you for doing such an incredible thing for your community there in Gary, Indiana. And we wish you all the best of luck. Take care. Thank, thank you. you. You too.